Have you ever wondered what makes these Diwali lanterns go up? Let's solve this mystery with an experiment. Hello friends, I am Albert Einstein and welcome to my lab where you and I will be exploring science beyond your books, around us, in things that surround us. So, let's get started. For this experiment, we need seven things. A sheet of foil. A pair of scissors. A marker. A sharpened pencil or a pointy stick. A clay dough stand with a hole in the middle. Two candles and a matchbox. Let's go. Hmm. We begin with a sheet of foil. Now grab something round and with the help of a marker, let's draw a perfect circle. Hmm, time to cut the circle. <laughs> Ta da! We now use the marker. To draw a swirl on the circle. Let's cut out the swirl. And there we have it. Now grab the pointy stick and place it into the clay dough stand. Whoops! Just like this. Now we place the swirl on top of the stick, grab the candles, hmm, let's light them. Wow! How is this happening? Hmm, can you guess what caused the paper swirl to spin? Simple, the hot air. By lighting a candle, the air above the flame becomes hot and it rises up. This hot air rises up and makes the paper swirl spin. But why does hot air even rise up? Hmm. Air rises when we heat it. And air, just like everything else around us, is made up of tiny little molecules. When air becomes hot, its tiny little particles start feeling hot and start running away from each other. As the particles run away from each other, they take up more space. And anything that takes up more space becomes less dense. And because hot air is less dense than cold air, hot air rises up. Now you may be thinking, how can hot air be less dense than cold air? When both of them are just the same substance, air. Remember, the same substance can have different densities at different temperatures. Wait a minute, I have something interesting to tell you. Uh, have you seen a hot air balloon? Did you know it works using the same principle? The air inside the balloon becomes hot with the help of a burner and therefore less dense than the cooler air on the outside. And in this way, the hot air balloon floats up and you got it a floating lamp uses the same hot air to rise up now you see hot air rises because it is less dense than cold air oh i see it you're more curious aren't you so what are you waiting for watch our experiment rainbow in a jar to know more about density so go grab your things and let's get funneling 